here. The good lift, the nice food, the good people, the sun. It's just so nice to fly, fly here. The start of today's race was really very clean with Sebastian leading the way off to the south side of the Sedania Valley, followed by his teammate Luca from Poland. Mike Young close behind and Louis with the only guys setting off in a completely different direction. So on the first leg to the south of the valley, most of the competitors stuck together, taking the climbs that were leading them towards the easternmost part of the valley and the turn point. A good climb just before the turn point brought everybody together, including Max and Louis, who had taken a more northerly route to the turn. They looked around a little bit, but everybody carried on. And we saw Peter Temple pulling away and Sebastian still out in front and Lucas with him. And also Tilo was hanging in there with them. Sebastian and Tilo decided to really set off and they started to run the ridges that took them towards the Lorry Mountain. They found a climb quite low now, 2000 meters, but Tilo decided the climb wasn't so good and continued along the low ridge going to the west. From that point, it was really a final glide. With the exception, they didn't take quite enough height to go over the top of the mountain at Karabaka, and they had to go round it. Gilles turned first at Mont Louis and was very quickly on the road route home, followed by the group of uh, Sebastian and Louis, Tilo, Max, and John Gatfield. As they turned, it was very close and it was going to be quite a battle for the third, to, for, for the second to fifth place. We saw the battle really tighten up on the way back and there were several attempts at passing each other, followed by Tilo just overhauling Louis towards the end and then Sebastian just squeezing his nose in front of Tilo. And it was very close at the end. But Sebastian got a penalty for using the wrong for using an, an unofficial frequency with his teammates from Poland, and that put him well down the ranking. Tilo became the champion from his finish. Oh, what a race! Oh, it was so difficult. <laughs> very exhausted, <laughs> I'm very happy. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get on with the closing ceremony for the ninth World Cell Plane Grand Prix final. And the winner, the World Cell Plane Grand Prix champion for the 10 series, it gives me great pleasure to announce from Germany, Thilo Hollinghaus. <laughs> so, the only thing that remains now is to give these guys something to have a shower with. And we would like to play the German anthem in celebration of the winner, Tilo Hollinghaus.